back with turn three of Whitstock. And uh, it be a fog turn, which may be in the uh, Imperial Forces' favor. Oh, uh, yeah, let's see. That means your uh, disperse units can, uh, can they go four in fog? I'm not sure. Maybe it's just when they're disrupted. But it might give them a little edge. I know it gives them a minus one in a rally, so that's the only bad thing about it. And the uh, artillery's down to two hex range, which is fine, but it'll just maybe be a maneuver phase for the uh, Imperials. Because that's kind of what they want to do is maneuver. Oh, I do believe it will be the uh, Swede's turn. They go first. Let me check the playback, see where we're at here, and we'll be right back. All right, we're back on the Woodsock battlefield. And uh, that looks like some Swedes to me. Blue, yeah, we'll see. But uh, it is their movement phase. We're getting ready to find out what we want them to do. Uh, do we throw down the banner signal? Uh, do we use salvo or push a pike tactics? Uh, we still got units to bring on, so we gotta look at that schedule. We'll be right back. All right, I gotta decide whether I want to throw down the old banner signal. And uh, I guess it's always good. I met the criteria. I got the uh, town occupied. Uh, I. All, it's always good to bring your units on before than after. I mean, that's why they gave you the option. So I think we're going to go ahead and maybe use that. Uh, what's my strategy? Artillery. Artillery all along this hill here. Punch them up, get some good dispersal results, and maybe go in with my cavalry to clean up the mess, maybe get a nice little punch through somewhere. But uh, that's what we're looking at. Uh, as far as reinforcements go, there ain't not until turn five. So that's why you want one. What? You might want to uh, throw down the old banner signal. We'll be back. Oh, another quick commentary. I watch a lot of uh, YouTube, and I just subscribed to uh, Compass Games channel, and they got a really good channel. Looks like they go all out with their uh, YouTube channel, whereas GMT, you know, they put out a few things. Old uh, Joel Toppin and uh, Mark Herman, every once in a while, put some stuff up, but this guy's got a regular uh, game show channel. So, <laughs> yeah, you know, it's Bravo to Compass Games, and of course they got my favorite war gamer, old uh, uh, Gilbert Gilbert Collins, and they're talking about his game, and that looks really good. I, I definitely got to get that uh, American Revolution, and they're talking about a new project, but I, didn't, I haven't got that far on the on the show yet. Uh, I got I'm the original short attention span theater. <laughs> I watch a video for about two or three minutes, go on to the next one, and I got about five or six of them all queued up, but. Uh, yeah, and that leads me to my second train of thought, and that is I have a idea for a game. Now, it'll probably be years and years before we get it going. Maybe next gaming season. Next This time next year I'll work on it. But it's a really good idea. There's Nobody's got a game about it. It's Civil War, and uh, there isn't a game like it. I, I, it's a bitter, It fascinates me. As a matter of fact, I watched the uh, video on the situation, the time of the battle. I don't want to give too much of it away, but uh, yeah, it's it's really good. So I got me an idea too. Old Gilbert's giving us some uh, uh, inspirations. But the thing of it is, with these games, I mean, you talk about research. Oh, you know, and it's, it's it'd be fun. I'd love to work on games. I think it'd be killer. Get up one morning, just start looking at terrain, figure out if your map's gonna be hexing uh, hexes. Hex grid, point to point, area, movement. I don't like those. I'm a hex encounter type guy. I think Gilbert said his game was an area movement or point to point. But anyway, we will be back with some well stock. All right, so far the old banner signal. Uh, beginning of game turn two uh, occupies Bo Nenkamp, which we do. And. Uh, can designate one Swedish reinforcement, either the left wing or reserve, that is not yet on the map. The left wing or reserve, we gotta look at these units here, see who we want. Oh. Left wing, left wing, reserve, oh, we went to reserves. I think, yeah, we went to reserves. So let me go ahead and see what other procedure. And in 
entails. All right. At the start of anyone's Swedish movement phase, it is not the Swedish movement phase yet, so let me uh, get on here. Oops, sorry about that. This by the book. It is the rally phase. Nobody to rally. Artillery bombardment. All of our artillery is limbered. So now we will go to the movement phase. And we will follow the procedure here. Uh, if any Swedish unit, I probably will the Swedish unit can designate. Alright, we'll designate the uh, reserves. And we will die. Uh, what's it say here though? The attempt fails. Oh, hold on a second, I'll be back. Alright, Swedish player is thrown down the banner signal. We will use an attempt and there ain't no modifiers or anything, it's just whatever you need it. Now, what those units ASAP. So I will roll one die. Uh, the only time it fails is if you roll one. <laughs> so, pretty much a gimme to get those reserve units on the board this turn. Ah, ah, bouncing on the trampoline. There you go, there's a good one. What we got going on there? A one. <laughs> oh, okay. No luck for the, uh, for the uh, Swedish. One on a six chance and they got it, so. The attempt fails, use the procedures, and we will not be able to use the banner signal attempt anymore no more reinforcements for us until turn number five ouch all right and when turn five comes you roll a die so let's see what goes on with that there you go bad luck in the Woodstock battle for the uh, Swedes we'll be moving nobody else is coming on changes the strategy maybe we'll be back little strategy note little strategy note before we move heard me talking yes, uh, yesterday in our last episodes about how my initial deployment was pretty good and it was debatable whether I should have pulled back uh, he does have some very lightly defended uh, artillery here I think this is a I don't know what their defense I don't think they have any defense factor you just go in there and take them what did I do? What did I do? I should have just went up in there. Well, let me see. He's got a six. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, can't get to him. Uh, one, two. No, that'd be a one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need eight. Huh. Nobody down here. All right, well, that makes me feel a little bit better. <laughs> I could have got to him anyway. But oh, what an easy pickings, and that's something to keep in mind for the Swedish player. The first thing Swedes we got to do is take advantage of that disrupted uh, left wing cavalry unit. Uh, he's a, these victory points just waiting to happen. Uh, we can also uh, uh, employ the charge tactic since they are disrupted, but the only thing is. We need diversionary attacks, and I don't want to. Is it worth it <laughs> to maybe lose, to inflict one unit casualty and suffer two or three more? And you know, in response, that's the way these, this game is. And you really got to look at everything. Um, another good thing is with the fog, I might be able to set up my artillery without being hassled. But yeah, you know, you have to see what's up. The way I'm looking at it now, I would have wished I would put my artillery more down around this edge, but you never knew. Well, I kind of did, but anyway, there we go. We're looking at some tactics. Key before movement. Swedish movement complete. Turn three. There you go. Take a look what's going on. Got the artillery underneath there. Moving on through. No road bonus. Gotta get off the road to get to that edge. All my units heading on down. The big news is we do have some attacks going on here. Some good attacks. We are pouncing with that cavalry. On the Swedes left out here in the open. Might have been a bad move for the Swedes. So we got some interesting uh, combats coming up. Taking advantage of that fog. Those artillery can't hit us. Well, in this turn, anyway. I'm sure next turn it'll clear up. Uh, 
get ready for combat. We'll be right back. All right, we're back then. That's an example of how fast that cavalry can move. Got to keep that in mind. Look at those big old uh, movement factors there. So, uh, old uh, Matakole, Matakukole, Matakukole got caught out in it. But the only thing is, my good artillery man, Tort, Torst, oh gosh, I guess this is the worst. Tort, Steen, Son, Torstein, Son, and old Banner. Getting a little bit too close for comfort, but want to throw those uh, leadership values in there and help with those odds. All right, that's what we got going on here. Now, we haven't unlimbered any artillery yet either. I don't think he can move and unlimber at the same uh, movement. Because if that's the case, then he, he could have moved and unlimbered. So we'll, we'll go back and double check the rule on that. Before we do the combats, be back. All right, then apologies to the game designers. <laughs> we weren't in, in the game three turns, and I've already messed things up. It wasn't too bad, though. But in this game here... You'll have your artillery limber markers on top of your artillery. There you go. That's the way they want you to do it. So, this one here has three markers on there, or three units, because I got infantry, which can be stacked with the artillery. Artillery is in a limbered mode. And down here, you actually have your artillery unit. So, that's the way the game was designed. And we are a stickler for game designers intentions all right we got some straight up to do just want to throw that in there we'll be back all right getting ready for some combat i just kind of want to make a little note of what a nice game this is <laughs> i mean like i said it's nothing really no victory games or uh what is it great battles of history complexity but uh you know it gets the job done and it's got some nice uh options and yeah, what well, i mean how much what else you want in these games you can complex it on up but this ain't too bad. Like I said, we're getting ready to get into a, a nice complex game when we get done with these uh, folio games. But, uh, you know, why? Sometimes sometimes you do. I mean, it, uh, if you got time. Like right now, I got plenty of time, and that's another thing I want to make note of, man. I love my job. I am feeling great. It feels good, you know, to be done with the flu. And uh, we got some more time left, so let it snow, let it snow, let it rain. Uh, we usually start going around the middle. It depends on what the weather's like. If it's 70, 80 degrees in March, we'll be back at it. But uh, usually, you know, start kicking. We slow chug it. Kind of like waking up from a sleep. You gotta, you gotta take a while to wake up. Then we'll get back at it. But by by May, or rather by April, yeah, we'll be back at it. So I might have another month and a half, maybe maybe two months at the most. Off still, I am sucking it up. Believe me, I cherish every moment <laughs> when you got to get up at 4 30 in the morning and not get home till 5, 6, 7. And that's you know, that's extreme to some, but the fives are pretty much it. Yeah, I see some. I was watching something the other day where they were complaining because they had to work a 10 hour day. We're gonna work a 10 hour day, 10 hours that's a half day for me. But anyway, we will be back done with the soapbox. All right, well, the question was, when can we uh? get our artillery ready to fire and the answer is right now at the end of the movement phase you can unlimber them put them down take the horses away turn them suckers around and face and get ready to shoot i don't know if i want to do that yet i guess i really could on this one right here let's see artillery limber we will take the limbering marker off of this artillery unit and he is ready to fire Artillery limber marker will go over here in the side marker pile. But that is how you do that. We still got three more units. We don't want to unlimber yet. But I got one ready to go. And uh, it, it looks like the artillery is the same as, you know, the last game. It don't really help. Hopefully get something within uh, uh, three hex range. Let's see here. One, two, three. So anybody around here. And this is what we really want. Be concentrating on this spot here anyway so i think he's got a nice little line of sight now when you fire into a city you will have the uh burning option i don't know what that's all about we'll find out when we fire on in there if we do there you go getting ready for some combats 
taking it slow and by the book for Whitstock.